Okay, boys and girls, we're going to be doing the answers hub. Now, there's two questions and they're kind of linked, so I'm going to kind of answer them together. Um, and while we're here, might as well have a little look around this little lodge of ours. Um, it's really quaint, this, quite like it. Um, yeah, let me have a quick look, I'll show you. Yeah, what we got? Nice little living room, brilliant. Came here because we have my kitchens on getting done. Um, there's my workstation working away. And of course, we've got the little winker outside. Why? Ah, because that's where she likes to be. She likes to go outside. Isn't that right, Stinky? Yeah, I'm watching the ducks. You're watching the ducks. Let's go see if we can find the ducks. Ah, there's loads of ducks that are over there. But where we're going to be ducking today or later i'll be in that happy days happy days but let's get to these questions in hand so let's have a quick look see what the questions are so if we come into answers hub what we'll see the first one talk about facing the mentality of big losses from kenny so it's a little salute to you kid is there any videos well there is there's there's actually this one but i'm going to discuss it a little bit further and as as we come down we you got paul here looking for morning star videos check the box strategy we'll get into this when i come back um from work um but yes you can look at euro usd and pound between nine and eleven the eleven is about the cut off um because the market starts dying down but you should be able to find a trade easy enough amongst that lot and then we're coming down to to mark which is kind of linked to the loss i know golden eye is typically a two-hour trade maybe longer but the rule do you close it when new york's finished cop between no man's land between your tp and stop loss close it out trust the system etc etc that's what we're going to get into and i'll kind of i'll go for a walk and i'll kind of explain a little bit about how to deal with a lot and how to deal with a trade that's not quite clear now so let's have a look so the two questions are really about losses and should you hold on to a trade well there is videos on the channel about taking a loss and the way you mentally deal with it which is what the question is is you do exactly what I'm doing now we go for a walk and we wander about and we see the ducks over there in the pond and Winky's off. What are you doing, mad woman? But come on, we'll go see the ducks. But oh, yes, look, there's, some baby ones. there's some baby ducks. Oh, they're not fur, it's feathers. <laughs> they look furry. Right. But yes, um, if you're hitting a big loss, there's a number of elements to it. First of all, you want to be asking yourself, why is it a big loss in the first place? Was my position too high? Did I enter too early? Did I hold the stop loss too long? Oh, what a nasty bugger. Did you hear that thing screaming? Whoosh. Right, uh, I'll, I'll feed them later. But is it all these elements combined? Well, the answer is probably yes. So how do you combat this? Well, it's very simple you journal and you journal heavily and as you're journaling you start to understand where your optimum stop is now depending on the market your stop could be 50 pips away could be 10 pips away could even just be five and as in the case of winky miles away there's loads of fish we'll get the fish in a minute so i'll chuck you in chuck you in if i threw her in she'd come out with one in her mouth you know rah, rah, rah. yes you've got to enjoy yourself but what i'm driving at is very simple everything we do is in the homework if you're just going into it and you think it'll be fine I, I, i'm going in the trade I, I, i'm king of the universe whacking in one lot and then you've only got an account that's 500 quid but you've got big leverage on it well you're not really trading you're gambling and this is where 
the journaling takes over and you have to journal. So that's what you do. But psychologically, if you take the loss, walk away from that screen, just like what we're doing right here. Go for a walk and just don't think about trading. If it's been horrifically lost to the point where it's blown the account or whatever and you feel a little bit like snake bite fearful, I've been there, I've done it. I told you the story of losing 18 grand in one weekend because I was stupid. I was arrogant and I was terrified of this keyboard for months afterwards. And it's only recently I told her and that's because it came out in one of these videos and she watched it. But it's just one of them things. So I had to go back to basics. Journaled, understood, put a post-it note on the top of my computer. Less is more. You don't need to be in the charts all the time. In fact, you hardly need to be in the charts at all. One or two trades a day is all you need. Now that comes on to the second part of the trade because the next, well, the second part of the question really, because the next part is about golden eye. And, and it's saying that golden eye lasts a couple of hours and if it's coming through the end of the New York session or whatever session you're in, should you hold it through the night? Well, again, kind of misinterpreted what golden eye is. Golden eye is a framework of trade and it shows you levels to get in, levels to get out. Now, depending on the market that you're in, it could take two or three days to get to said point. So in that case, yes, you hold it. If you're on a fast market, pound JPY, gold, something like that, then the trade can last about 15 minutes. But it comes back to the one element. Are you journaling this trade? Have you been in this place before? If you haven't, Golden Eye and the full strategy will explain it to you. It'll show the maximum stretch points of the market. Has it exceeded that? Well, if it has, you probably need to get out if you're on the wrong side of it. It'll show your key targeting points. That should come within a session. Check it, top of every hour. This is for day trading. If you check it on the top of the hour, what you'll find is you start building up a picture of what that trade looks like. And you should be able to see whether or not it's still valid. And at the top of the hour, look at it as if it's a fresh trade. And if your trade says it goes the opposite direction, you get out, period. If it just says, wait, well, just see what happens. Maybe scale out of it a little bit. But if you're not confident with the trade, kill it. Take the medicine, take the hit, write down what you've done, and you'll find it's quite simple. And that takes us right back to the beginning of this about handling a big loss. If you've journaled right through it and you understand what you're looking at, this job's easy. And what happens is your win rate starts moving up. Twinkle. Your win rate starts moving up because you know what you're after. And if you've got your expectations right, then you trade right. And then it comes down again to my posted note. Less is more. If you're just going at the charts over and over and you think you're going to sit there for 10 hours and constantly be looking for a trade, well, I'm going to be brutally honest. This job is not for you because that's not what trading's about. Trading's about patience. And if you get the patience level right, you'll be fine. Once, twice a day, all you need. If you're sitting there longer than four or five hours looking for a trade, change your career. Because you should be done in a couple of hours if you're day trading. Case in point, and the squad will kind of test to buy this. And if you're watching the last few videos, you'll certainly see this. My day is done by nine o'clock, pretty much every day. Certainly 10 o'clock, it's over. You know, am I doing anything? No, trades are running in the background. This morning, did a trade, set it up at 8.30, looked at it at nine. Criteria came in between the nine and 10 hour and 
entered the trade, sat and watched the carry on film, came back, monitored it on my phone, job was done, switched computer off, and that was that. So I can't make it any simpler. So just slow down and you'll be fine. And as always guys, trade well, keep your risk managed, but above all, do what you love and the money will follow.